Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop, welcome back to the channel. Got the Miata up on the lift today, and uh, there's something that I've been wanting to address for a little while on it, and I've got to figure out kind of how I'm going to fix it, but, uh, and I probably could just go order a, a new piece, but that's no fun. Let's try to see if we can fix it ourselves for no dollars. Let's dive into this project. I'll show you what I'm going to try to fix, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so this is what we're going to work on. Um, this cover for the bottom side is supposed to attach here and over here, but both of those tabs broke off. And so what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to pull it off and uh, I'm going to kind of, I guess, retry the whole plastic welding routine with it and see if uh, this one works out better than the other one did. Hopefully it does. But we'll find out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the tools, get this thing pulled out of here. It's pretty simple. I'm going to uh, pull off. There's some screws here and up here and around here, and then the whole cover will come off. And then uh, it'll give us a good opportunity to really kind of look at what's going on underneath here, too. Let me grab tools and get started on this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by removing all of these 10 millimeter bolts that are on here. I'm going to leave this center one here to hold it up because it's held up right there and right here. Or right there. All right, let's find out if that's all of them. Maybe not. It's only held back there now. Theoretically. <clears throat> oh, that is it. Okay, we've got it out and on the stand, but I can already see that there's... I'm probably going to need to heat it up to kind of get it bent back into place since I shoved it up underneath that tab. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take it outside and clean it up. So I'll do that, come back in, and then we'll see what we can figure out from here. All right, so it's been a day or two, or, or, or maybe more than that, since I started this project. I pulled the, uh, the cover down, and I cleaned it all up. The bottom side, it's kind of still icky, but whatever. The top side is clean. I just got done spraying this all down with uh, brake clean to try to clean it up. I took... I took this piece of uh, plastic here from another project. It was actually some uh, extra plastic from when I did the uh, front end, uh, all the, the, the damage repair on the, on the uh, Hyundai. And so this was extra plastic. I hung on to it. And so let me uh, hang on a second. All right, got the uh, camera in a little bit, so I'll probably run into it a time or two. So what I'm going to do now is I want to take this piece of plastic and I've got it kind of set up. I did an outline right there. So the plastic will, will sit there and then be able to kind of push it in place to hold this up. And that's the idea is to try to keep it from flopping down and flopping around. And I've only got this up here with a couple of bolts anyway. And so, but anyway, um, so that's what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. I gotta drill a little hole in there and, and whatnot. But I'm gonna pull this back off turn it upside down and plastic weld this piece to this piece, see if I can get it to stay on there good, and then uh, with the hole drilled in here, pop it back in there, and that should hold this all up. All right, so as promised, I'm over here at the bench, and uh, what I'm gonna use this time is I bought this new plastic welder doohickey off of uh, Amazon, and uh, I'll put a description or link to whichever one it was that I bought down below. It was like 30 bucks or something like that. And so Trigger has these tips on it and uh, they're kind of neat, but basically you just put it in place. And uh, to be totally honest, this is a much better uh, plastic welder than that other piece of crap that I got. I know it's from Harbor Freight and all that, but it's still not that great. So. Basically, with this, you just kind of, 
kind of let it heat up a little bit. I've got the other welding rod and I'll use some of that here in a minute, but I want to try to get it kind of melted into place without melting myself in place because that would kind of suck. But this one compared to the one that I got at Harbor Freight is a lot easier. And so in that video, that short that I did about doing this, had a couple of people talk about using their uh, soldering iron. This is almost exactly a soldering iron. It gets plenty hot, holds it in place, and I'm basically just using the plastic from this piece to move it. But I will add some of this plastic welding rod that came in the kit. This kit was actually really uh, pretty complete. So let me try to get this side kind of Basically, I'm just trying to tack it in place like you would with a welder. And at the same time, trying real hard to get my finger or my thumb or my forearm or something in the way. Because, you know, it's not going to be as much fun unless you get burned while you're doing it. All right. Let me uh, block your view. So you're going to have to just trust me on this one that this is what I'm doing. I got a big chunk of steel and that's kind of... What I'm using as a uh, weight to hold this in place. Let that cool off a little bit. And it's really, uh, I'll show you on this side once I, once I move the weight. It's really kind of neat because you can watch this stuff sort of as it cools off. It, it changes from uh, kind of a glossy to a uh, kind of like that. It's not, it's not glossy anymore. So what I'm gonna do now is take this piece, whoops, come back here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece, just kind of melt it in. It's just like you would with a, uh, a, a piece of welding rod. You're doing basically the same thing because this black plastic piece here is just your filler rod. Smells a lot worse though. It doesn't smell like welding rod smells. But this kind of paddle piece on the end of it definitely works a ton better than just using that iron that the other piece was. So now we'll let them both cool off. And I'm going to tug on it a little bit and we'll see how good of, a, uh, uh, of an adhesion we got. Then I'm going to set the weight back on here, push it down, and go around the end of this piece here and uh, see if I can get it to set in. No, that didn't. Yeah, it's not really sticking right here. So, since it's not really sticking right there, let's get it a lot hotter. This grease and stuff that's on here, basically what I'm trying to do is just heat the whole thing up and melt the plastic through that stuff so that it doesn't stay there. And, or it'll stay there, but it won't, it'll, it'll adhere underneath it. So at least that's my theory. It'll either work or it won't. I actually think I like that quite a bit. And I probably got this in the wrong position so that it's not going to match up with the hole, but I marked it so it should be relatively close. This is going to be the fun part. I think I'm just going to, instead of doing that, I think I'm just going to try to you'll be able to see a little bit better with this. And so what I'm going to do is hold this just kind of tack it in here. I don't want to breathe this crap if I don't have to because it's probably really not good for you. I'm gonna say this, this uh, particular piece, this tool is definitely better than the other one. And I think they have these at Harbor Freight, but I was in there looking for one and they didn't. They, the, the, my store, my local store only had the one uh, that I already got. And so it was one of those, well, let me just go ahead and hit Amazon to the rescue. I'm not going to lie, I think when this is all said and done, it's going to be pretty ugly. Only because what I'm doing here is not 
the perfect answer. But I want to prove the, uh, the, the concept that it can be done and that it can be done relatively inexpensively. This was, like I said, 30 bucks. And it comes with, uh, let me drag this over here. Uh, a bunch of the different rods for different plastics. It has some screen in here. You can di cut different sizes to like do bumper repairs and stuff like that. And then the, the part that I was really looking forward to was all of these clips. Uh, these are basically staples that stick in the end of there. You turn it on, heat it up, push it in, and uh, the staple will go in there, let off the button. As soon as it hardens up, you pull that off and clip the, tip, the uh, tips off of the staples. And so it kind of has a squiggly that holds your plastic together. And there is, sorry about that, I should have muted my phone. I mean, there's a bunch of different types, different styles, different thicknesses and uh, shapes and all kinds of different stuff. So you probably be able to find what you need and you've got enough that it'll probably outlast the life of this, uh, this tool here. But, all right. All right, let me go put this back up underneath the car. Uh, I'm going to fit that one, see how it goes, figure out where I've got to drill this hole, and then I've got to work on this side. Now this side, the, the which would be the, figured it out, this is the driver's side here, this is the passenger side of it. This one had the biggest chunk out of it, and there should be, it should come basically across here, it has a tab right here, or, no, it comes off of here, I'm trying to remember, it comes off of here anyway, it comes across, and then there's a tab up here where this will bolt through. But I'm trying to recreate that tab with, you know, a lot less material than what I had to begin with. So, all right, let me take care of this, pop back in here, see how it goes. I'll drill that hole and then we'll see how it fits. All right, so that's basically what it looks like. It's welded on there, bolts back into that original hole. It holds it up. I haven't done the other side yet, but that's basically what it's going to do is it'll hold it back up in place and, uh, I have no reason to think it wouldn't work just fine other than it's about as ugly as all get out. And so maybe we'll see if we can do something with that. Anyway, there's that proof of concept. Um, give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, it, uh, it would work. It'd be functional, but it really is not that pretty. And so, uh, let me see what else I can do with this, because I, 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 just, I just don't care for that. So anyway, I'll be right back. Well, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so I wanted to do the proof of concept and show that the other stuff worked, but at the same time, I went ahead and ordered a new one off of eBay because it just looks better. This was at like 49 bucks or something like that. Now, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits and it holds up the way it's supposed to and I think it looks a lot better because it's new. And so anyway, that's that. And there's the old piece down there. We're gonna go ahead and haul that to the dump and uh, done is done. Well, there you have it. That's another video, probably the last video for the Miata. Um, we don't drive the car enough. We don't do it justice for what it deserves. And so we're probably gonna let it go. I mean, we've had it for over two years and have put less than 50 miles on the car. So it's probably time for someone else to take it out, drive it and enjoy it. Um, be sad to see it go, but uh, it's the way it should be. If I'm not gonna drive a car, I shouldn't keep it. And so that's how I feel about it anyway. And so that's what it's gonna be. So other than that, I wanna talk about the uh, electric, the, excuse me, the plastic welder the electric plug-in plastic welder thing that I bought this time. I think that's a great tool. I'm going to use it probably quite a bit more. The one that I got from Harbor Freight, yeah, don't buy those. It's a waste of money. Um, hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. It did not do what I expected it to do. And so, you know, don't buy one of those. Spend the money at, uh, on the Amazon one and you'd probably be a lot happier with it. It's a lot more versatile and that kit comes with a lot more stuff. So there you have it. Um, the eBay part, that uh, um, that undercover, 
It's a aftermarket part, so you have an expectation that if you buy an, an aftermarket part that you may have to adjust a little bit, and I did. Several of the holes I had to adjust so that I could get it to bolt up, but hey, it looks a heck of a lot better than the one that I repaired. Now, I proved that I could repair that one, and I could have left it on there and done a little bit more to it, and it would have been just fine. Maybe, probably, but I thought it looked like crap, and so that's why I was like, I'm just going to replace it. They're cheap. It was 50 bucks, and so... You know, did I have to spend the money? No, I didn't. Um, but I just, I feel better being the way it is now. And so that's kind of why I did it. Other than that, that's it for this video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching Yellow Jacket Garage. I appreciate everybody for being here and, and uh, all the comments and the likes and everything else that you've done. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider it. And thanks for that. As always, we'll see you on down the road.